Now let's take a look at problem number 29. I'd like to show that the derivative with respect to x of cotangent of x is negative cosecant squared of x using the quotient rule. So I want to actually take the derivative of cotangent of x using the quotient rule and show that it should be negative cosecant squared of x. Okay. Uh, if I'm going to do this and I'm going to use the quotient rule, it'd be really nice if I had a quotient. So I need to rewrite cotangent of x as a quotient, but I know how to do that. So in other words, I want to write that my function y um, is equal to cotangent of x, which I could also write as cosine of x divided by sine of x. That's the quotient form of cotangent of x. So now I just want to use the quotient rule on this guy. So if I use the quotient rule, I get that dy over dx is equal to the bottom, which is sine of x, times the derivative of what's on top. Well, the derivative of cosine of x is uh, negative sine of x minus uh, the top, which is cosine of x, times the derivative of the bottom. Well, the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, all divided by the bottom, which is sine of x, quantity squared. Okay, let's uh, keep going here. I'm going to simplify this a little bit so I get that dy over dx is equal to sine of x times negative sine of x is negative sine squared of x. Negative cosine of x times cosine of x is minus cosine squared of x all over sine squared of x. But I could factor a negative 1 out of these two guys if I wanted to, and I get the dy over dx is equal to negative sine squared x plus cosine squared of x all over sine squared of x. But we know that sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x, that's a trig identity, and we know that that equals 1. So if I replace 1 for sine squared x plus cosine squared x, I get the following, that dy over dx is equal to negative 1 divided by sine squared of x. But 1 over sine of x is the exact same thing as cosecant of x. So another way of writing this, if I move these signs up to the top of the fraction, is this is negative cosecant squared of x. So what did I just show here? I showed that if y is cotangent of x, that the derivative of y is negative cosecant squared of x, which is exactly what we were asked to do. Show that the derivative of cotangent of x is negative cosecant squared of x using the quotient rule.